So it's another week, uh, vlog number four. Didn't think I'd keep doing it this long. I normally lose interest in things pretty rapidly, get bored. Uh, but feedback's been pretty good. People seem to be pretty interested. A lot of people watching them, the channel stats, etc. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep vlogging away with all the weird, wonderful stuff I get up to. Uh, this week I expect we'll visit another rink dive site, maybe New Milton or Basingstoke. See what happens. Uh, we're going to do some work in Winchester. I'll pop back to Southampton. We nearly finished everything on the list there. We got wiring to do, network wiring. Um, and I'll probably drop in some other stuff I'm up to as well. Some of the university work I'm doing. Um, lecture at the university in Winchester. Um, lots of marking currently. And I'll see what else we can drop in. Never really know what's going to happen week by week. It's quite varied, but that's what keeps the fun and interest, I suppose. And right now, it's heading to Charles Hording Dive, the main pub, I suppose, currently. To cut some vinyl, make some signs, sort some stuff. Um, so, we're going to put up some hand gel dispensers across all the sites for COVID. So, let's see what else happens. <laughs> So back at Charles Ford and over the weekend <coughs> managed to finish the new sign. We've got some new trees as well. No real reason, just looks pretty. Um, problem here is this is the first site I opened and the branding wasn't uh, consistent. So important element in any business is consistency. So I made sure the branding was spot on. And then um, back again. Okay. We're hand gel up. And we'll crack on with some stuff. So more vinyl cutting. Made a hand wash sign. We've got hand soap, uh, hand soap, hand sanitizer dispensers going in to all the sites. So I fitted some in Winchester. This one's going to Southampton. Big sign being laid up for Southampton here as well. And um, more bits for the truck. So if you've ever tried to change the tire on a car, fairly straightforward. Changing the tyre or taking off the wheel on a 12 ton armoured truck needs something a bit more beefy. So I've got two 15 ton jacks and some axle stands come. So we'll give that a whirl in due course. So one of the uh, new Inco sites has sort of a focus on game tech startups and uh, software developers. So I've slowly been collecting these over. Well, a few years, I suppose. Got an Xbox One, original kiosk, a 360 kiosk. We've got a few of the 360s dotted around different sites. But I've managed to also get delivered uh, from Belfast, in fact, these were shipped in today from an Xbox One kiosk. So, quite a recent one, very cool. An original PlayStation 2 kiosk, and the system's in a box somewhere else. But yeah, it's going to look pretty snazzy. I've got a huge telly, which I showed you before. And yeah, we've put together quite an awesome games room as such at one of the sites. Hopefully I can show you that soon. So feedback on the um, vlog so far is that everyone seems to like the really weird stuff I do, which is um, no surprise. So I thought I'd just quickly drop in at the end of this video some of the other stuff I'm involved with, I suppose. And that's... Um, Let's just kneel down, see if I can see this on my phone as well. Um, I've got quite an extensive collection of taxidermy, which is pretty weird. Um, again, I'm not an advocate of killing animals, stuffing animals for fun, hunting and so on. So all these are antiques or ethically sourced, so some have died in zoos and so forth. Uh, this one in particular is a Canadian bear. So full size mount, Let's see if I can try to see on my phone, get this in shot. Um, it's this actually produced by somebody called Emily Meyer, who is the taxidermist for Damien Hurst. So again, this is an investment piece. Uh, this once belonged to Marco Pierre White, the chef, so it's in his house. And I acquired it from Emily probably four or five years ago now, and it just appreciates in value. And again, like with the guns, I find them quite fascinating. 
quite weird one for I suppose and I've got quite a collection of this stuff so I'll drop that into our future videos and explain a bit more. So I haven't had a lot of time this week to do a tour of another ink hive or some of the other stuff I wanted to get up to. Um, I do a lot of this part time. Uh, teaching at the university so I've been a bit bogged down with some marketing admin work. Um, got a few ink hive sites coming up so lots of legals and documentation for projects I've been finishing off this week. So I've mainly been sat in front of the computers uh, almost non-stop. I did get a chance to pop out and do a little bit on the armoured truck. the truck down to where eccentric stalls with their kit etc awesome sunny day again and I'm gonna start stripping the externals so I've already taken off these are little rain water uh, gutters essentially and the fence on the side was stuck on uh, just for display essentially it's completely solid underneath so I'm gonna strip everything down start from the outside <coughs> work my way in um, so I strip the main body give it a clean do a jet wash soon and um, then we're gonna essentially tape off all the windows and respray the entire body matte black mount everything back on and then work our way inside we've also got to do obviously the chassis underneath but um it's essentially one big block so when the weather's like this it should be pretty easy to uh get this all cleaned up stripped down and sprayed It'll probably take a couple of days really to do it all and then we'll start kitting out the inside Stripping is coming along. Got the front off. It's, um, some of this probably never removed or well, not removed for a long, long time. <coughs> so, headlights are out. So I'll strip it all back, then we'll give it a scrub down. Brief roughen up of the paint and then the whole thing is going to be sp sprayed in something called uh, Raptor which is a polyurethane epoxy 2k so two part paint mix and it's going to look pretty awesome very hard wearing I am um, dropping a photo of some of the trucks which have been done in uh, the Raptor spray and uh, it'll cover up everything and uh, make it look pretty snazzy all the uh, trims etc will be done in gloss, uh, black gloss, the same as the wheel arches, just to give a bit of uh, difference between the bodywork. Um, and hopefully, keep scrubbing away, um, won't take too long. Back in the workshop at Charles Ford, just a quick little fix. Uh, this um, steel plate came out of the uh, truck. And originally it would have had a mains input so I'm gonna reef well actually I'm completely redo that because it's rusted pretty bad when it's been set in water for quite a while so we'll cut one out of an alley sheet quite a thick aluminium sheet and reproduce one and then I've got a brand new 16 amp free pin which will mount on it and that means the truck can be a uh, Plugged into the mains when it's parked up, it kept charging 
and um, other stuff in there from run off the mains as well. So I'll cut this up now, paint it black and then we'll go mount it in the truck. simple as that the old steel rusted uh, component and then brand new quick fabrication and we've got aluminium replacement uh, mains input and I'll uh, get a proper label uh, made up as well to mark that and um, we we'll mount that back in when ready But other than that, hopefully next week will be a bit quieter and I can get out and um, show you another Inky Hive site. Maybe show you the brewery, because now we've got the beer back on in Winchester and whiz around and catch up on a few other bits and pieces as well. So back in Winchester, I fitted the uh, hand gel dispensers at all the doors and it's an exciting day as we have more beer brewed. So going to do a line clean and get the beer back on, keep the world happy as the pubs are all shut, so um, I'll time lapse this or something, let's see. Chester and um, I'll do another vlog next week, see what I've been up to. Cheers! <laughs>